I want to start off with when I met you, let's see, two days ago in Salinas. We met on the Tuesday in Salinas. You made a prediction that kind of surprised me. You said, I think the power is going to be on by maybe Thursday, end of day. Wednesday, end of day. Now it's Thursday. We still got a million people without power. Well, I didn't, yes, I didn't say that everybody would be getting, you know, uh, electric service by end of Wednesday. I did set a, a, an aggressive goal on on Luma and the Power Authority in Puerto Rico, uh, asking them to have a substantial number of customers uh, with service by end of Wednesday. I am not satisfied so far, but uh, today, as we speak, um, roughly. 37% of our customers are getting electric service and 67% of our cost residents are getting water service. I want that increased. And so uh, let's see what they accomplished today. I understand uh, two large generating units will be uh, back in production. I'm talking um, Equelectrica, LNG plant in the south, and um, AES, a coal plant as well in the south. Uh, if that happens during the course of the day, we should have a substantial increase of uh, customers with uh, electric service, and that should help in turn for the water service. So when you made the prediction, was that just you being optimistic or was that them saying to you, hey, Governor, I think we can get it on by Wednesday, Thursday? That was based on what I was, the information I was getting from them, but also was my role in asking for performance, for execution. Uh, they, they have to act with a sense of urgency in dealing with the lack of service both electricity and water. So I have to set these aggressive goals, otherwise I'm risking that there's no progress and I want substantial progress. I agree that there, that there are areas in Puerto Rico that it's going to take longer, but I want, you know, I have, as I have, as I have consistently said, I want within a matter of days from day one to have a majority, a substantial majority of the population here with both essential services. So what are you thinking now as to when most people might have power? It could happen today. Uh, and I am vigilant. I am overseeing this. Um, and, uh, and so I hope it, it happens today. Uh, so that's, that's what I can say. The mayor of Bayamon said that if by Saturday he doesn't have more critical places with power and more people, he's going to go out and hire his own brigades. You see, I, I don't blame any, any mayor who wants to um, take charge on behalf of his or her constituents. The mayor of Bayamon is obviously referring to distribution issues in Bayamon. Keep in mind that you have generation, transmission, distribution. Transmission is being fixed uh, 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 as we speak. Distribution, it depends on the town. Um, Luma should communicate with the mayor of Bayamon um, and uh, and then the mayor will will decide that in Maria after Would you Maria. Would okay if he went out and hired private brigades? Well, he, it is go it's going to be his responsibility uh, in terms of um, the safety of the personnel as well as uh, the residents uh, in his municipality, because obviously when Luma is doing it, they are assuming that responsibility. Um, if Luma enters into some kind of MOU, Memorandum of Understanding or Agreement with the mayor, that should be better. You know, I, I guess Luma's concern will be the safety of, the, of those working on the lines, the, the safety of the public at large, as well as the quality of the service or, yeah, that is, that is done. That's going to be Luma's concern, but the mayor of, of Bayamon, Bayamon is one of the largest municipalities in Puerto Rico, so it has, uh, it is a capable municipality from the point of view of its fiscal resources as well as uh, public works personnel. Is the job Luma's doing now satisfying to you? Not, 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 not yet, because I, I want, as I say, I have been saying it consistently since uh, this, uh, the storm left Puerto Rico at that intensity 
on Monday at 2 p.m. exactly. And uh, as, as, I, as I said then, I wanted uh, 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 the majority of the population to have their electric and water service by end of Wednesday. Today is Thursday. So if they miss that deadline by a day, that's one thing. If they miss it by two days, it's another thing. Uh, but I'm not going to be satisfied until, again, a substantial majority of our population gets uh, their essential services and we expedite the fixing of the distribution issues that we have in some towns that were hit directly by the hurricane and, and they got wind damage, substantial wind damage.